Hey guys, it's Tiff. Hope you're doing well. Coming at you with like a wicked mini Sephora haul. I got a couple of gift cards for Christmas and a little bait bag. $900, just kidding. Um, and I wanted to just show you what I got. Tissue paper. That's exciting, right? Um, total spent, because I know some of y'all are nosy and like to know. Uh, also, I am the most basic of bitches and pretty much everything I got was on sale. Um, so I spent, I spent $116.60, um, two lipsticks were on sale and another lipstick set was on sale. I had $100 in gift cards, so I spent a whopping $16.60 of my own moolah and I am super excited. So well, let's get started. First thing, I feel so excited when I just out of the bag, out of the bag. <clears throat> First thing I got is called Kiss Bite Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip Set. I thought this was really cute. They have a little display. It comes in like a little unicorn. A uh, little baby display, and honestly, the size made my heart melt. My neighbors are insane. Um, they are so cute. Look at them. Look at how little baby they are. I think they are cute. Um, colors they came in. Ugh. I can't read it. I'm blind. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Demi Glaze, Flambe, Braised, and Whip. I'm going to see if I can't get a good... Actually... I will swatch them for you. First one, Demi Glossy Glaze, something like that. That one. It's like a brownie mauve. This one is Flambe. Ooh. Yes, you will see in a second. It is a beautiful. Next, Whip. I really like the formula. It's a little thicker than like Ofra. Well, I can't, it's a lot thicker than Ofra. Um, and thicker than Jeffree Star. And the cat suits. They're very like, they're very thick, but they feel like they're gonna be moisturizing. This one is braised. Look how gorge those are. Ugh. Right? I hope it's in focus. And we will see if they dry down. Is, are there any claims? No. Mm, 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 no. No claims. They are so cute. So there's four of those. And I love the packaging. Um, next, because we're kind of doing lip stuff. Oh, and that was... That. I'm terrible. Oh, here we go. 2017 Amuse Bouge Liquid Lip Set. Originally 22, got it on sale for 15, so seven bucks. That's pretty good. And they're like all very wearable colors, which is awesome. I already have a lot of colors similar to this, but you know, more is more sometimes, as Tati says. So I got these two. Special Effects Vice Long Lasting Water Resistant Top Coats. They are top coats, but they are pretty opaque. Um, at least the ones that I swatched at the uh, Sephora were. Ooh, yes, that's very pretty. Okay, ew. I don't, it, girls, do you hate when this happens? You take your hair tie off and then you have like a chinchilla growing out of your hairband. Let's just, let's take that off. This is called Regulate. The applicator is a, like a paintbrush. Painting on. Just wanna get like a good color swatch. And then I can probably put it over like, let me swatch the other one. This one is Seether. This one I was more excited about. Um, these were, these were on sale. They were originally $18. I got them on sale 
for nine dollars so half off nine bucks savings again this one's cedar this one looks beautiful and I, I feel like I could pretty much just do a lip liner and wear this one alone regulate see there and here they are in the the tubes I think they're so pretty I really think that regulate's gonna look good over like a dark lip like maybe with some sparkle just in the middle we shall see those look nice all oh, this packaging don't need that. next I get this or one similar to this every year um, it's a, a mascara sampler they always have like lip um, highlighter stuff some bronzer and like well benefit did a whole bunch of those like um, hula packets but anyway this is the Sephora favorites mascaras $74 value $28 this was not on sale but I feel like you're getting it on sale essentially because it was only 28 bucks so Here's the variety. You do get a full size, I want to say Troublemaker. I'm really excited for the They're Real. I'm excited for the Lancome one and the Marc Jacobs. Um, I feel like mascara, especially travel sizes, are wonderful because I get to try them first off. And I have a tendency of switching too much back and forth between mascaras and then I come back to one and it's dry and it really pisses me off. I think anyone would be if, you know, you're spending... $24 or something like that on a mascara and you come back to it and it's dry and you're not finished it You know, oh my god that drives me crazy So the ones that are in here are they're real by benefit Lancome It just says Lancome uh, Makeup forever excessive lash, which is awesome Clinique high impact max mascara Marc Jacobs um, the Velvet Noir and the Troublemaker I haven't heard the best things about the Troublemaker um, mascara by Urban Decay, but I am a sucker for packaging and it's multi-chrome and it's beautiful. Um, maybe you guys would like to know what the brushes look like. This is the brush. Um, pretty spiky, kind of fat. The Marc Jacobs one doesn't look very exciting. Um, it's kind of hourglassy, but I really like the formula on this. And I, you know the mascara scraper? I feel like this one gives you just enough. Sometimes some mascara thingies, they, uh, they scrape too much off or not enough and then you're like crying mascara. That one I feel like regu <laughs> regulates the amount pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, High Impact Mascara Clinique. Oh, this is like wicked standard. All right, I'm excited. I have not tried that one, so I'm excited to try that out. Makeup Forever packaging is like borderline NARS packaging. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is so weird. What? It's like very thin, but a regular wand. Like the bristles are real short. But it, it's pretty dense. Uh, it just feels weird. Like pulling it out, it seems like there's a lot of tug on it. Okay, this is Sills Kiehl's C I L S Sills Booster XL Base Mascara. Ah, look at that. Okay, Mascara Base. Okay, okay, okay. This is by Lancome. It looks like there might be fibers in it. I can't quite tell but it'll be cool to try these under some of these other ones. Wand is pretty unremarkable. It looks pretty, pretty standard. Um, and they're real by benefit. This one has a very similar one to the Troublemaker one. It's spiky, it's thick. It, ha it actually has spikes on the very top of it too. So, it might be good to like get the outer and inner corners with that. So I'm really excited about that. And the box is kind of nice, honestly. So take, you know, this and ooh, this and this out. And you got like, you know, a nice little box to store stuff in. It's very thick. Like, <laughs> you could hurt someone with that. 
Um, and that, yeah, that one wasn't on sale and we already said it was a $28, um, or $28 value for $74 a product. This one does not come with a voucher. So the ones that they do for the holiday collection, and I, I think it's just because this one comes with a full size, um, they're all minis and I think there's probably like five of them and like little minis in there. Um, and then you get a voucher for you know, one of the, the ones that you like. You try them, go home, you know, whatever, and then bring back the voucher and you get a full size of it. So those, when you find those, I think they're definitely worth it. Um, I just, you get, to, again, I liked being able to try things before I commit to buying a full size. I am such a sucker for, um, the like, the checkout little weave that they give you because there's all the little like cheapy stuff. Not that the product itself is cheap, but that it's packaged pretty cheaply. Um, so, but I know that it's not a good bang for your buck. I want to test stuff before I commit, but Sephora does have a really good return policy. So last thing I got, I am kind of on a quest this year to find, um, to grow my foundation collection, to find colors that actually match me pretty well. I always struggle with my undertones. Sometimes people think I'm pink, some people think I'm yellow, some people think I'm neutral. Um, I have a tendency of when I'm hot, stressed, it's a random Tuesday, I get very blotchy. So I, I pull red a lot. I'll get red blotches on my face and on my chest. Um, and then it just, sometimes my foundations just don't match depending on the, the day it is. So uh, I did get matched with this. It's NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Apparently this is pretty new. Um, it looks like they had just pretty much put out this display. So I'm excited to try something kind of like a new product, not just new to me, but new to the universe. Um, this is in light 2.5 Yukon. The packaging, real sleek, real nice. Getting it up. Ooh. I know that I see this, I like the display. You're able to pick it up and look at it, but this one's mine. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's so brand new and beautiful. Um, I. I've never had like a high-end foundation. I've never even gone to Sephora and got a sample. So it was really nice. God, long story made real short because I know this, I was supposed to be like 10 minutes, but it's already like, I don't know, 15. Um, I went to the Sephora in the Annapolis mall, had a really terrible time getting matched. I, uh, in a video, like the past video, I was talking about that. So I did end up going to the Marley Station mall, JC Penney's in, um, in JC Penney's. Marley Station Sephora in JC Penney's. Woo! And um, there was, I think his name is Daniel, and he is spectacular, so nice. He was really the only one in the store, but thank goodness the Marley Station Mall has like four people in it on a good day. Like, I don't know how they stay in business. Um, but he was really nice, took me to the counter, like, talked me through what I was looking for, um, and was able to, I think, I'm, I want to do a, a test on this just to see what it looks like at my house, but in the store it looked great um and i wore it for you know a couple of minutes see if it oxidized and it didn't seem to but so i'm really excited to try this i still want to go and get um matched with a dior foundation or a ysl foundation i really want to try like some of the higher end maybe i'll get you know a better finish or a better product um, and from the reviews online those two brands seem to have really really beautiful foundations so um i kind of want to try one of those but oh we have a cat. Um, I'm really excited to try this. So um, you'll probably be seeing a wear test um, and a first impressions on this here soon. I swatched it. I know it's slightly cheating at the store, but it was like, boop, does it match? It's not all over my face. I don't know what it looks like. So it's a first impressions. Um, so that is it. That is what I got. My bag is empty. Um, I had like, I don't know, five, six, 650 points or something like that. I still don't think there is something in that bracket that I was really interested in, so I did save my points for those that care. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing the Sephora um, subscription box. I think that's pretty cool, and you do get additional points, and I'm at Sephora, like, in the store enough that it might be worth it because you get free points when you do the subscription box. So if any of you guys have them, let me know. Um, I would really be interested if you like it, if you think you're getting a good bang for your buck, if you like the products, um, do you feel like it, you know, sometimes I feel that you kind of put in your, what you like, what you don't like, your colors, and you get really specific stuff, but it seems like this is kind of a catch-all, like everyone gets the same products, the same colors, 
Um, but if you've had a good experience or a terrible one, please let me know because I don't want to waste my money. Um, so <laughs> let me know if it's good. And um, yeah, you'll be seeing all this stuff in an upcoming video as far as me putting it on my face. So um, if you do want to see anything specific first, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll, I'll see you then. Bye.